Well, the verdict is in. A jury in Fairfax sided with actor Johnny Depp in his defamation lawsuit against ex-wife actress Amber Heard. The jury awarded Depp 15 million in damages, but he'll only receive about 10 million of that. Meanwhile, Heard countersued and was awarded $2 million in damages. Throughout the trial, Heard faced scrutiny and public shaming. And Sarah Hammond learned some domestic violence shelters are concerned for what this might mean for victims. Throughout the six-week trial, people on social media were picking sides. Team Depp or Team Heard. Many leaned in favor of the actor during the defamation trial, crowding Twitter with hashtags like Amber Heard is a liar, Amber Turd, and Amber Heard is a psycho. This has been one of the, this is the most painful and difficult thing I've ever gone through. Both Heard and Depp threw claims of abuse at each other during their testimonies, but both deny each other's claim. The verdict and the spectacle of the trial leave some advocates worried this could deter domestic violence victims from coming forward. And there's so much public support and you know, so much opinion and memes and Facebook posts and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure people at home are thinking, you know, if somebody doesn't believe somebody on this scale, why would somebody believe me? Olivia Smithberger is the executive director at Her Shelter in Portsmouth. They help victims with shelter, supplies, and even court advocates to guide them through the legal process and a shoulder to lean on. Court can be a really scary thing and to have to go to court alone uh, can be the reason why some people choose not to do it. She says both men and women come through their doors and they welcome them with open arms. We're here to support survivors. Um, we're not here to judge or ask for proof. On average, nearly 20 people per minute are physically abused by a partner in the United States, according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. That equates to more than 10 million men and women per year. Smithberger says if you find yourself in that situation, don't be afraid to reach out for help. There are multiple resources across Hampton Roads available to you. For 13 News Now, I'm Sarah Hammond. And here's some important information now here where you can get help if you need it. The HER Shelter operates in Portsmouth and Chesapeake. The Samaritan House in Virginia Beach. YWCA Southampton Roads in Norfolk. Transitions Family Violence Services in Hampton. And the Geneve Shelter in Suffolk.